brushed your hair lately. So fast, how you like that silver? Sultan, you old bum. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? She had to start talking any day now. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? It weren't possible. Dark but dandelions were matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Faster.
here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. 
Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is? Permits me to introduce uh, Alessia's Priscilla, known also as Calanetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a floor once. And made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. they be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs the bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. The dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary.
got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Pucker Take up care and now. My ass. B, the more I drink, the clearer I think. Do you seek to get me drunk, sir? If I was seeking to get you drunk, madame. Not to your hair lately? Faster. It, Roach. Now you. Yeah. The thing I piss me trousers. Anybody there? Open up. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Rubin that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Ruven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awakes in the next room. Hi, Whitehead! Nice bum you have. <laughs> you were right. He doesn't blush. He's out, then ordered him to shove it up the corpse's ass. Yes. And then he sent the body back. Sure he was bigger. And He's all like a horse. <laughs> Clearly. Easy, Cleaver. Poor son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? None of your business. Your friend got a death wish. <laughs> no, just short on manners. Witches aren't exactly the sophisticated urban types. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Ah! 
Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were Horson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Introduce me to your friends. Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise. 
while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse Sun? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanet. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the pits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. 
Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why, then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? No idea what you're talking about. You are the worst liar I have ever known. Glad I don't need you to win a poker game for me. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Stop that! Now! Man! Bart makes Ziggy lose Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that! Bart her! Bart less thinky! Bart less thinky! Bart sadler! Where do you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. 
Ziggy bad take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart? No. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head fall. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jolfon gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big. Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing! 
didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Damn hey, Bart, what the hell if... Been it. But no, been it, God. I mean a minute to talk. You mean? One more time. Siggy, you like. Talk me with. Uh, thanks for your help. So long. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Shouldn't go any further without taking that antidote.
witcher's potions were vile. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. Show me what the hell is. Dried. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy. Need to burn the corpses. Otherwise the ladders will never stop congregating. elsewhere.
bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Gold coin. Trail ends here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. 